Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how to create a simple canteen DFT. So the scenario goes as follows. A primary school is considering the introduction of a lunch ordering information system. Students will be able to place their orders via computer and their school accounts will be charged. Order details are stored in the lunch orders table and a canteen worker will generate printed orders for packing and delivery of lunches, receipts for students and a summary for the school admin. So the first thing we need to do is we need to break down this question and find out the entities, the processes, the databases or the data stores as well as the data and information. So to break it all down, all right, the entities I have in yellow. So when you go and you look at the entities, the entities are things that either give or receive data in this uh, scenario. So the students will have to place their order. So therefore that makes them an entity. The school administration will require a summary. So therefore they will become an entity as well. So now once we have the entities, we need to worry about the processes. Now the processes are kind of like doing things in this system. So the first process is when the students go and place their orders. So students ordering products, that would be a process. We also have um, printing of the orders as well as um, packing and delivery. So there are three main processes. The data and information in this system, the data is what goes in and the information is what comes out. You can see that the students will need to put in their order details to get the, the whole thing started. So order details would be data that goes into the system. The things that come out of the system would be the receipt for the students as well as the summary for the school administration. So the final thing you know that we need to put in uh, is we need to put in a data store. Now in this case, it's actually listed there and it's called a lunch orders database or data store. So now once we have all of our entities, processes, data and information and databases, we then can draw it all up. So here is an example of a school canteen DFD. So the student starts off by putting in the order details and their student details in the ordering lunch process. Those details then go into the database and then a maybe a total cost is you know calculated or you could even have another process that calculates the cost of the lunch. But then once the order goes into the database, you can get that specific information from an order ID and that's what comes out of the database. So the order ID and the cost moves into the next process, which is the printing of the orders. So once you know what the student has ordered, how much it costs and who the student is, you then save that information and you can save that information to a transaction log and you can also give that information as a summary of all the orders to the school administration. The final thing that happens is once the printed order has been complete, a printed receipt detail needs to be created and then that will finally go to the student along with their lunch in the end. So in this scenario, you can see that I've listed some, some little bits of information that can help you know, move your DFD along because you have to think of it as in, it's like a story, you know, you can, the data will need to flow in from one side and go back to the other side. Anyways, guys, that's how to draw a simple canteen DFD. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.